Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another video using Trinity Stamps products for you, and the link to the video on their channel is in the description, but I thought I'd share it here as well. Today we are going to be making a super quick and simple hello card using all three of the coffee sets, which include the coffee with character set, stamp set, and coordinating dies, and the caffeinated sentiments set. For the images, I am going to be using quite a few, so I'm just going through here and picking out which images I would like to use for my card. And I'm grabbing some cups and a tea bag and a little teapot and some steam to make it look like the tea is very hot. And I'm going to put them in my Misty so that I can stamp them all at once. And this will help when you're using lots of images that you want to color, that way you get them all on one page and in one stamp or one stamp session. You don't have to go around with an acrylic block and do it over and over again. I am going to be using some Copic markers to color these images in. And as you can see, I am using this uh, V25, which is the darkest color that I'll be using on my cups. And I'm using it in a very short stroke method on either side of the cup. And this will make it appear as if my light source is hitting the cups or anything that I would color like this in the center. So it'll give it a very shiny look, sort of like porcelain or metal, I guess whatever um, you interpret it as. But I'm using or I'm leaving the center uh, white. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I did try a very light purple, the BV000, and it was still a little bit... Um, too close to my mid-tone color that I just wasn't really feeling it and I just thought I would just keep it white and it would look like a nice uh, sheen or a shine from a light source. Because I sped this up, it is going too fast for you to be able to see what colors I've used. So if you are interested, they will be linked in the description and I do organize them by which image I used to color in with those, Im or I'm sorry, with those colors or shades. So if you are interested in that, that is always li linked in the description of my video. I'm nearly uh, finished now, just finishing up. And with the plate, I will keep the same rule with keeping the darkest shades on either side or each edge. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line each image up with the coordinating die. One thing that I really love about this set is that the coordinating dies do not miss a beat. Each and every image has its own coordinating die, which is really helpful and it lets you just have a lot of creative freedom with how you'd like to set up and use the images on your cards or your projects. I do tape them down with painter's tape that I've sort of let this the tack off of a little bit by placing it on my pants and then ripping it up, but you could use washi tape as well. I find that to be very helpful as it is a very low tack tape and it doesn't rip any of the paper around the images or the paper itself. And you can use this scrap paper for more stamping later on, which is always what I like to do. I really do not enjoy throwing away any cardstock. I will leave it till the very last bit that I can no longer use. So as you can see, this cuts it out very nicely, and I'm using this piece of cardstock with some Altenew washi tape that I've already put over it. I like to make lots of card fronts like this and just keep them on hand. It makes it really easy just to grab a card front, and I have it all decorated already with a background, and I thought that this one lent itself especially well to coffee and tea. It sort of looked like a coffee stain to me or a tea stain, and I thought that that would go really well with the images. I'm going to be using the caffeinated sentiments set and the way that I like to use this set since each word is detached and on its own is that I'll take a grid acrylic block and it allows me to line each word up so that it just looks like it's one cohesive sentiment rather than a bunch of words that I put together. And I'm going to prep a black piece of cardstock with my EK Tools powder tool. And this will just make sure that the embossing powder only sticks to where I have stamped the Versamark ink. I'm using a white piece of cardstock underneath this black piece of cardstock so I can be sure that I can see where I'm lining it up. 
and then I'm using some white super fine embossing powder and I'm going to heat set that and trim the sentiment and I'm going to go ahead and do this mock setup here where I just kind of move around all of the pieces, all of the images to see where I like it. I do end up deciding that I want the tea kettle to be glued onto the cardstock and then all of the rest of the elements to be on a piece of foam tape so that it gives it a little bit of dimension. And I like that a little bit is set back and then a little bit is popped up. And I think that it just lends itself really well to the whole look and arrangement. Here is the completed card. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. If you are interested in the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel, that is linked in the description. There's lots of other videos and inspiration using their products. In the description is also all of the products that I used here today, as well as my Instagram, Pinterest, blog, and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much again for stopping by, and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.